Hey guys, coming to you to talk to you about how the golf swing is really a two foot balance to a one foot balance. So what I want you to understand is when you start here at a two foot balance and you turn your body like this, okay, then you're just basically shifting your weight here and you still have weight two feet. So most efficient movement is the ankle, I'm going to back up, knee and hip rolling, which when that does, Put your pelvis outside like this, and I can pick up my whole foot. So I have a one foot balance. So my golf swing, and I have a two hand measurement. So when I do this, my right knee and pelvis goes under to get my grip. Because if I stay like this, then what happens is it's real hard for me to make this perfect circle. So this, see, it's really easy to go over. This is kind of a little precursor to set the weight left. So now I have a whole spine on my left-hand side. So when I take the club back, my right ankle rolls to the target, my left ankle rolls away, and now you can see how, top of my golf swing, I can pick my whole foot up. This is, this is so bizarre to me that if somebody says, no, that's not right, because if you keep your, if you're throwing a baseball and you have a two-foot balance and you did this, how far could you throw it? So then you have to move your head off the ball if your knee stays flexed. The right leg has to straighten. Now my weight's on my right leg, right? Sexy woman walking is the best pivot that you could have in a golf swing. So once this happens, then the golf club and my spine is over here. So now I can swing back. So then when I put my weight back over to my left leg, I have a one foot balance on this leg. Now this is where my wrist cock happens. I'm here. This is how much lag I have. And then the golf club whips, right? So you can kind of see how I set this up. I got a one foot balance. Head stays right there on center because if it moves, then I don't have a center. Then from here, I push over and then the golf club whips. So you have a two foot balance. Get your two hand measurement. Make your pelvis go up and up like that. Now I'm going to back up a little bit so you can kind of see more of my ankle, knees, and hips a little bit further away. See how that works? And the reason why it's very difficult for you guys to do this is because you're trying to turn the middle of your body like this, and you think that's where power comes from, and it is not. When I get right here, my whole leg is limp. I got 100% of my weight on my right leg. So from right here, now 100% of my weight goes over to my left leg, and then I whip, okay? That's why I've got a lot of club head speed, and that's the reason why I'm injury proof. Otherwise, if you do this, you're moving. Now, we're going to talk briefly about this turn versus tilt thing, okay? So, when I'm talking about this, like this is the rotary part that I'm talking about that keeps you on a two foot balance. When I do this, like tilting this way, then all I was teaching you guys to show you is that this is a one foot balance here. So, it doesn't matter how you swing as long as you go to a one foot balance. Now this looks like a, a total slide or sway of the hip because you've been told to take your hip back. So if your hip goes like this, you're like, well, that's a sway. Well, how can that be a sway if I can pick my whole foot up? My weight's on my right leg. Now the sway would happen if my hip goes out and my head goes over here. Now I can't. But if my body just does this walk in motion, my arm will follow that. See, I'm not doing anything with my arm. My arm is following that. And when that follows that, the wrist cock naturally by centrifugal force, and now I have this, and now I have a whip. And I do not pull the club down. I do not harpoon or anything like that. When I shift over here, and if you were standing right here and I did this, I'd knock your ass 10 feet that way. So when I go right here, that right foot re-rolls, pushes the pelvis up, then the club whips, just like that. All right, as usual, come see me here. At Country Hills, I love all the Zoom lessons I've been given. Everybody's been getting great results. So if you want to do that and you want to join it, shoot me an email at uh, rkswingking at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.